to Wholesome Roots. Today, I've started a really cool project, y'all. No, it's not uh, restoring this cool old house, but it does involve the house. Um, so let me tell you what it is. The quail have outgrown their brooder and it is time to give them um, a new place to live and it involves this house. Let me tell you. Um, it was trapped. They're... So this cage, three compartment hardware cloth cage, um, I had to pull it out of that collapsed portion of the this old house. Um, whoever lived here before us that had a few of these cages and the the other ones were all rusted and gross but this one um, was in decent shape and I had stashed it underneath uh, the roof here and then during the ice storm a couple years ago the roof got caved in when a uh, cedar tree fell on it so um, this though has been preserved underneath all this since that happened and you see it hasn't really rusted much um, so let's get it down to the barn as well as this uh, yummy treats that I um, got for the goats pulling little saplings out all right let's get it down to the barn My goodness y'all I could not have asked for better luck um, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you I was really concerned that um, this thing was gonna be too long to fit anywhere practical in the barn and I even uh, when talking to Rose about it uh, told her that I estimated it was gonna be too long but wow guys we lucked out here um, as you can see look how close that was but fits perfect fits perfect like it was made um, made just for this spot in the barn and let me tell you in the future uh, not today obviously but I'm gonna raise it up higher and mount it to the wall and that way it'll be further off the ground and I can get some sort of containers to put underneath that um, their droppings can fall into for easy removal uh, later on uh, down the road and so we know it's gonna fit we know it's gonna fit now let's see what it needs before we can make this space livable for the quail um, the cool little feeder on this compartment um, that'll come in handy the other the other two compartments don't have that but we'll have to see how this works out uh, neat idea looks like the only two things I have to fix aren't really that difficult um, patch up that hole and remove and patch up the hole I'm gonna make when I get rid of uh, all this rusted stuff this will be relatively simple to fix uh, I'll just need to cut this off and replace it with a brand new piece of hardware cloth um, these if you recognize them were formerly what we were using as hoof trimmers uh, I, I'm the one I purchased these titanium blade I thought they would be great for hoof trimming not so much but I found that it is really great for cutting hardware cloth And 
I'm tying the leftover hardware cloth to this salvaged cage with little ends and pieces of field fencing from other projects. I am using them, uh, bend, I bend them and then lace it through and then I'll take my pair of pliers and tighten it down. I've got it all patched up. It should be ready for quail. But first, let me trim off the extra wire that I used. Check it out, guys. This is now ready for quail. Uh, they have a water, they've got food. They have a door <laughs> and repeat for three different compartments. Um, this one we tried using the feeder here and it looks like looks like their crumbles will, for the most part stay in but the finer grain uh, crumbles want to fall through the hole so we're gonna have to take that off and cover it. Uh, maybe next time. It'll work for today. All right, here we have our sweet little baby quail. It's not a baby anymore. We are going to check and see if they are old enough to determine if we can vent sex them. To vent sex them, we just place them on their back, spread their feathers by blowing till we see the vent and that's the opening that they whoops whoops it's all right can get a bit of grip always hold their wings down flat and you're just going to oh it got excited and pooped that's fun that's often going to happen during your vent sexing so you just press it yeah there we go just press on either side and i think that's a female with the male, foam is gonna come out. Um, I'm not 100% sure that I'm doing this correct, though. So. You see the foam coming out? He already released a little bit of foam. I don't know if you got it on film, but I thought he was male because he was a bit bigger, stockier, and he is. My beautiful assistant helping by putting the quail into their new home. Twenty quail divided into three compartments and our salvaged quail house. That's what we're gonna call it. It's gonna take them a little bit of time to adjust to their new homes, but I think they're gonna be very happy. Well, that was a fun project. Uh, it seems like I really needed something like that. The uh, past week or so has been very eventful, and it was nice to have a fun uh, project and accomplish something that needed to be done. Um, I was pretty impressed with the work you got done while you were gone down at the barn. 
I wondered where you disappeared to. <laughs> it was kind of spur of the moment. It needed to get done, and we really love uh, reusing old stuff, repurposing things, salvaging things, and uh, this this cage had been sitting underneath um, that collapsed section for quite a while now. So yeah, and and, and the, the fact that we needed it all along, didn't even know it, you know. So that just saved us a ton of money. Uh, the project didn't take very long. And now we have a great place for our quail to live. They look happy in there. I think they yeah. like it. Eventually, uh, I might raise it up off the ground, but for now, uh, that's that's going to work great for us. So, as always, we want to thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots. Look, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Stop. Oh, is that a